Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we will be starting our LMS project, then go ahead and create or start our home app also. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and create our project, open terminal, then type go-admin, start project followed by the name of your project. In my case, I will call it PI2D, then space followed by period, Hit enter, and as you can see, our project has been successfully created here. Let's now run the server and test it in our browser. So, pythonmanage.py run server. Then hit enter. And as you can see, the development server has been started at localhost, port 8000. Click on this link and it will open on your default browser. And as you can see, everything is working well. Now let's create our first app called Home. So let's open another instance of PowerShell. Then type python manage.py start app home. Remember, home is the name of our app. Hit enter. Now it has been successfully created. Next, we need to register it in installed apps. So open settings file, then scroll to installed app section. Then down here, let's add home.apps.homeconfig. Remember this home config is this class here inside apps file of our home app. Now that's done. Let's now write our first view function, openviews.py file. Down here, let's define a function called index that will take in request as an argument. And it will return HTTP response with an H1 message of hello world. And as you can see here, there is a warning error saying unresolved reference HTTP response. That's because we need to import that before when can be able to use it. Let's do that here from django.http. Import HTTP response. Next step is to map this view function to its URL path or root. So to do that, we need to create a file inside our home app called urls.py file. Then we need to import path. So from django.urls import path. Then URL patterns. Set it to a list inside here. Let's now map our index function path, then empty string. We are leaving it empty because this will be our index. Then views.index. Lastly, name Margins index. Don't forget to add a comma at the end. Let's now import our views file so that we can be able to use it inside this file. Top here from dot import views. Now we are done with this file. The next thing is to tell Django about this URLs file we just created inside home app. So let's do that. So let's do that. So open the main urls.py file inside py study directory. Then first, let's delete all these comments to make this file clean. Now this better. First, we need to add include here as the second import, then add comma here, then path, followed by empty string,
then include home.urls. Then remember to add a comma here. Now let's check if our server is still running. Yes, it's running, okay. Go to the browser now. Let's now refresh this page and we get hello world. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching up to this far. See you in the next one.